Aisha Adams, and welcome to The Asheville View. Today, I'm here with my friend, Laura Webb, who is one half the dynamic duo over at Her Two Cents Podcast. Hi, Laura. How are you? Good, good, good. It's a good day. It's a definitely a good day. Good. So I am so excited to go deeper into my um, Her Two Cents podcast. And the first question I have for you is, can you tell our audience a little bit more about Her Two Cents podcast, what you guys are all about over there, your mission and your vision? Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, my day job, as I jokingly said, I'm in the financial industry. I'm a financial advisor, certified financial planner, have a wealth management and investment consulting firm. And what I've learned over the years is, is that women do not talk about money enough and they don't take an active role and um, control. And it can have such a big impact on their lives because money touches us all aspects of our lives. And so we decided to do a podcast to try to inspire women to have these conversations, to have an opportunity to learn in a comfortable, safe place, and hopefully to make a difference. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about why women need that help. Like, why why are you focused on women specifically? Well, first of all, one, we live longer. And so there is um, a lot of issues where women have, you know, are worried and have may outlive their money, their finances. Um, typically women, um, you know, there's a pay gap. And so if women have earned less, they may have saved less. They may have, because they earn less, they may have saved less in their retirement plans. And so it all comes to a head. We live longer. And so we need that money to help, um, help us, you know, uh, support our lives into our long lives. So, um, so that is one of the inspirations. We see the impacts of that every day. Yeah, there's a, a, a saying, if you teach a woman, you teach a family also, right? So I think it's really important that we focus on women um, as we try to change the way that leadership looks in our country and how we do things. So that's really exciting, Laura. And I'm a big fan of your podcast. Um, what strategies do you have that you feel that a woman right now or wherever she is can take advantage of what she's earning and begin to start looking towards the future? What strategies do you have for us? Well, we usually talk about kind of three things. One is really think about and understand, we use the term your money story, because if you understand what your influence is and what you were ta taught, what you saw, what you were wit witnessed, you know, what you've witnessed in your family to that influences. So to, to, to recognize that and you might you know, it might be you want your money story to be something different than you grew up with. The second is just some basics. You got to know what's coming in and what's going out. So your income and your expenses and your income, your expenses always need to be less than your income. And so not pretending you know, lots of times there's like, oh, well, I'll deal with that later. I'll catch up or I don't want to think about it. And that is one of the biggest mistakes. And it's an easily, cor you know, correctable mistakes to really pay attention and it lets you make active decisions and choices um, that make you, um, that will help make you more successful. And you know, success breeds success. I think you know that. So you make a little, take a little positive step and then you go, okay, well I can do that. And so you take another one and then that feeds it. And then the third is, Women don't save and invest enough. So it could be as simple as, you know, you start just a little teeny bit. You could have a, like a monthly draft that just moves a teeny bit of money from your regular checking account over to a savings account or to participate in an employer-sponsored retirement plan. Um, so one, to begin the habit, even if it's little, little bits of saving. And then if you can, investing. And one of the low-hanging fruit is if you have a, an employer-sponsored retirement plan, is participating and investing that money. And that's how you'll be successful long-term. So for people who are in their late thirties, forties, not yet saving for retirement, haven't caught on because we're in this gig economy, what suggestion do you have for them to at least get started? 
Well, like, um, like I said, one would be to begin to build a safety net. And in this environment, that's been a real important. Think about if you came into this COVID environment, that if you had a little bit of a cushion, how much easier that would have made life, you know, and taken the stress off. So the, 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 the simplest is, is, is remember knowing your income and expenses and then taking a teeny about, it could be $10, it could be $15, it could be $20, it doesn't matter. Every little bit helps and building a safety net. And then the amount over that is begin to save and invest for a long term. Because if you watch, even though you think, oh, that's not that much money, what happens over time and how it can accumulate and how it can grow can make a really huge impact. Wow. So how does someone know that they're actually ready to invest? It's never too late to start. I mean, I don't know. It's interesting you say ready. It's like, I think ready to invest would be to say, can, can, can you accumulate and save a little bit of emergency reserves or a safety net? Do that because you want to have it because life happens. I mean, you know, you have a flat tire, your hot water heater goes out, whatever it is, we all have stuff that happens. So you want to have that emergency reserve so you're not put into crises by some unexpected event. And then over that, you're ready to go and you can start investing for teeny dollars amount and it will begin to make a difference over time. So, yeah. so how can people learn more about these full and financial uh, fixes. I would call them fixes, right? Because we know so many people are looking to kind of fix some of the leaky holes that have come from COVID or through unemployment and all the other things that have happened this year. Um, how can they find your podcast, more, more tips from you and, and learn more? Well, um, that very easy. The website is, you know, uh, her two cents podcast.com spelled out. You can find it and you can listen and we are we started on season two this year and i think you're gonna um uh we had 20 episodes for season one so you can find it on apple google spotify stitcher or you can listen to it you know um uh through the website and you know what we want we want you to tell us and there's on the website you'll see what are some topics that you want to hear about? That is exactly, tell, send us an email, even better, a voice recording that we can use that, that. So then we can go and help find the right resources to answer your questions. So we want your input as to what do you need to hear about? You've had some great guests. I know you recently had Tracy Washington Green on the show. I've been on the show. Uh, you just had some really amazing people on the show, people who we all love. So I'm going to say um, everybody should be tuning in to Her Two Cents. And I want to thank you, Laura, for taking the time to come on to the Asheville View today. Well, thanks. And thanks for all you do in this community. You know, I'm a fan and I'm um, excited. I just wish we could be in person and see each other in person. I know. It's going to get better. It's going to get better. So it's been great chatting with you and I'll see you next time on the Asheville View.